Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So over the last year or so, I have posted a couple of videos about the Windows Cloud PC and the Microsoft Cloud PC. And I'll leave a couple of videos down below if you would be interested and would like some more info. Now, in regards to the Cloud PC, which we haven't spoken about for quite some time, I thought I'd just do another video to keep you updated and in the loop if you would be interested because some more information now and new information has come to light which is according to internal documents from Microsoft where they now could be working on a new subscription-based version of the Windows um, 11 Cloud PC, which they could be rolling out to consumers or, as we would say, the average home user in the future. Now, currently, the Windows 365 Cloud PC is available as a paid subscription for enterprises and businesses. So with this um, internal document, information has come to light now where Microsoft could be running out a subscription-based version of the Windows 11 Cloud PC to your average home user as well. Now, this document um, is dated back to last year in 2022, with Microsoft saying in this in this document in, a, in an important paragraph that gives us more information as to what this is all about. They say, and I'm quoting, move Windows 11 increasingly to the cloud. Now that first statement is quite important because as I have posted previously, uh, Windows 12 could have more cloud PC integration, a possible Windows 12 rolling out next year in 2024. That could be more cloud PC focused and have more cloud PC integration. And I'll leave that video down below. And another video I posted a couple of months ago, it was about a feature that was spotted in the Windows 11 Inside a Canary channel, where Windows 11 may soon let you switch to a cloud PC right from your task view, which means you can basically access um, your local device and your cloud PC from the task view from your um, Windows uh, desktop. And I'll also leave that video down below. Now, Microsoft carries on to say, and I'm quoting, build on Windows 365, to enable a full Windows operating system streamed from the cloud to any device. So basically, that's their goal. And they say, use the power of the cloud and client to enable improved AI-powered services and full roaming of people's digital experience. So that paragraph gives us a little bit more, a little bit more info as to what Microsoft is thinking about when they say, move Windows 11 increasingly to the cloud. Now, that that statement enable improved AI powered services is an important statement as well because as I've mentioned previously uh, in previous videos Windows 12 could also be a more AI focused or powered operating system and already Microsoft as many of you will know is working on a Windows Copilot for the Windows 11 desktop, which is a feature that I think will roll out with the 23H2 feature update later this year for Windows 11, where they are now bringing a kind of web container to the Windows 11 desktop that will be more, uh, that will include AI integration and artificial intelligent integration to the desktop. So that's already uh, in the process. So basically, um, it seems that Microsoft is already moving in that direction where they are wanting to move Windows 11 more to the cloud. Now, that means that in the future, um, there could be a gradual transition, so to speak, of Windows towards the cloud, as in AR and the, um, the co-pilot for the desktop, as I've just shown. But I personally don't think that we will see the end of the so-called local desktop or the local device or your local Windows, whatever you want to call it. And uh, um, the Windows 365 Cloud PC as many of you may know, is for businesses and enterprises and currently has two plans. And the cheapest of these plans currently available is um, priced at $31 per user per month. And it includes two virtual CPUs, four gigabytes of RAM and 128 gigabytes of storage. So that's basically the basic plan available already for Windows 365 uh, the current cloud PC. But at this stage, it's not known um, if Microsoft will as mentioned, roll out a, an official cloud PC. And it's not known at this stage if and what that pricing would be. But nonetheless, just um, letting you know and keeping you updated and informed. And obviously, if any more information comes to light, I will let you guys know. Now, in regards to a cloud PC, as I have mentioned previously, the Edge web browser itself is more or less becoming its own operating system. And I, has, and I have, in previous videos, titled some videos regarding Microsoft Edge, tongue-in-cheek, Edge OS. 
And that's because already Microsoft is including different tools into the Edge browser, um, which basically make it a cloud-based operating system all on its own, so to speak. Um, where other features include where you would be able to and, and can retain your passwords, your settings. Um, there is a new feature regarding the profile called Wallet, where you can actually access and include and add your credit card. So already Microsoft is moving in that direction. Um, so maybe this is perhaps a Microsoft's way where they are actually easing users of Windows um, 11 or your consumers, as we would call it, uh, to a future where you know Windows is run on any device, as Microsoft says in that statement, with minimum requirements from the cloud. Now, um, that's where the cloud PC does come in of benefit. Obviously, is you don't need the same hardware requirements as you do for a local device. So it does have um, minimum hardware sp specifications. But the only negative, I think, and the main negative with cloud PC, there's two. I think it's the pricing. And then secondly, privacy. There's obviously a lot of users um, who do not like cloud-based um, services. So having a cloud-based PC might be a bit of a privacy concern for some users. But nonetheless, that's more or less the latest regarding the so-called Windows 11 cloud PC that Microsoft could be rolling out for consumers in the future. And just wanted to keep you updated and put it out there. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.